tough fight, man. Big win for you tonight, but uh, against a really tough guy. How would you feel about your performance this evening? Uh, you know, I wasn't satisfied with my performance. I mean, he won a lot of the wrestling scrambles, and uh, you know, we trained a lot, and you know, we were kind of banking on him to get tired, and he didn't. <laughs> you know, he was just—he kept grinding, he kept going. You know, his his strength is unbelievable. You know, he gets that clinch, and you know, I was trying everything: underhooks, overhooks. You know, whipping the hips, going side to side. You know, pushing the head away. And uh, he stayed nice and clinched on. So all I could do was just strike in the clinch, throw knees, throw elbows, just try to create enough space where I can, you know, land some shots. You, you were banking on him getting tired. It looked like you had to dig deep a little bit, man. It was, yeah. it was a grind. You know, it was a grind. Like, I, you know, like he had that clinch pretty much a lot of the fight. You know, he kept it on the fence and, uh, you know, didn't go. I mean, he made me work. You know, that third round, you know, I knew I had to dig deep. And, uh, you know, I was banking on him to be a little more tired. And I kind of rocked him a little bit in the third. I felt, you know, it was a right hand. But, uh, but you know, he just came back. You know, tough dude, man. He's got a, he's got a great career ahead of him, that's yeah, for sure. You busted him up quite a bit, so you were kind of impressed and he kept going. Yeah, you know, I mean, I hit him with a lot of shots. But, I mean, you know, in this game, everybody's tough. You know, I hit him with a few, and, you know, he's bounced back. He just kept coming, kept coming. And, uh, you know, that says a lot. I mean, that guy's a tough guy, tough competitor. And, uh, you know, in the future, watch out for that guy. <laughs> no doubt. Let's talk about you. I mean, was this a, a, like an emotional victory for you? A tough, I mean, what was, what was it feeling like? You, know, you got the losing streak. You, you know that you, you got to win. So, I mean, was there, was there pressure on yourself or just emotion that you had to get it done tonight? Um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of pressure. You know, I mean, you know, with a fighter's ego, losing three fights in a row, you know, it's not, it's not fun going home to your family with a with loss. You know what I mean? And without that extra check. Um, you know, so, you know, with this fight, you know, I'm not satisfied with my performance. I'm glad I got the win. Uh, but, you know, I just, like I said, like I had to dig deep in that third period and really just go after it. Was there any part in the losing streak where you started to doubt yourself or wonder, like, hey, am I supposed to be competing at this level or did you feel confident the whole time? Yeah, you know, I mean, my last fight, I had a good fight. You know, I went uh, fight of the night and me and Tankino just went after it. And, uh, you know, but I mean, I fought the best guys. I mean, Uriah Faber, I saw he was here tonight. I fought him. I fought Eddie Wineland, you know, and I've always been one of those dudes who's just, I mean, I'm not afraid to go after the best guys in the division. And, uh, you know, I just came up short a few times. And, you know, this one, you know, I, you know, I, <laughs> I was surprised at the win, that's for sure. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I just, I dug deep and I just kept fighting. You know, I fought all three rounds. Very nice. We'll be back in the win column now. What's what's next? I mean, is there a date, a location, a, an opponent? I mean, is there anything that appeals to you on the horizon? You know, Christmas with my family, you know, is what I'm thinking about right now. You know, just going back, spend some time with my baby girl and, uh, you know, my fiance. And, um, you know, just going back home, having a good time. Let's reassess things. I mean, that was my last fight in the UFC contract. You know, so we'll talk to Sean Shelby and, you know, I don't want to go out like that, you know, so hopefully, you know, I get another crack at it and, uh, you know, let's go out and, you know, put on a good fight for these uh, these fans. Did it add that to it tonight, knowing that it was the last fight of your contract, where you kind of, like, I got I to gotta put on a show? Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm one of those guys that always comes out and fights, you know, and I think, you know, I earned the respect of Sean Shelby because he knows I'm going to come out and I'm going to leave it all out there, you know, and that's today, like, third period, you know, I dug deep and, you know, I just kept swinging. I kept trying to everything to win the fight. You know, I felt like I hurt him late, and uh, you know, I just tried to keep. I tried to keep coming. I tried to keep the fight in me. You know, I think I got a lot of fight in me, and you know, hopefully, I get uh, you know another opportunity to come back. Is that extra check going to be a nice Christmas for the family? Oh, definitely. You know, I just uh, you know, I just want I just want to hang out, just you know, have some time with my family. You know, maybe do a little vacation, go somewhere, and just you know, like a vacation for me is going somewhere and not doing anything. So you know, I look forward to that.